What is up you guys? Welcome back to another one. If you are new to this channel, I am Gold Pony. I do new car truck SUV reviews on YouTube. And today, we have behind us the new 2021 Mercedes Maybach S584 Matic, courtesy of Mercedes-Benz of Hagerstown in Hagerstown, Maryland. For more information on their inventory, please feel free to check out the link in the description box below. And so this is a pretty exciting car. It's a limited supply approximately one of 500-ish. It's, of course, plenty powerful. And I'll give you all those specs in a second. An MSRP is for $184,900. This one tops out at right around $215,000. That's what this one is currently listed for with options. And that doesn't even account for the offers that have already been had on this one, which are much higher, actually. So that's kind of cool. But anyways, powering this beast is a four liter bi-turbo V8 with EQ boost. 496 horsepower, 516 pound-feet of torque, sent to all four wheels through a nine-speed automatic. Zero to 60 time comes in at approximately 4.7 seconds. When it comes to the ride quality, it is an adaptive self-leveling four-wheel multi-link air suspension with a Maybach-specific driving mode as well. So essentially you have the normal comfort mode that comes with the S-Class, and then you have Comfort Plus, which is the Maybach-specific driving mode, giving you an even more luxurious ride, which is pretty crazy because the S-Class is already luxurious as it is. And the rear wheel steering on this thing makes for much better handling as well, and it is pretty ridiculous to watch. It's definitely something that you gotta see in person, especially because it's so stinking cold the way the rear wheel steering works. But anyways, I'm not really here to touch on the performance and the driving dynamics of this thing because of course that's plenty good and it is very impressive. But what really makes the Maybach special is the exterior and interior unique features. And so that is what we will be going over in this video today. So having said that, what do you guys say? Let's go ahead and get started with the exterior on this new 2021 Mercedes Maybach S580. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with the exterior here. The Mercedes Maybach S580 essentially takes the already great S-Class to a completely different level. Up front, you're gonna find some added chrome detail around the front grille as well as the lower portion of that front bumper. There is a Maybach exclusive grille. You guys can obviously tell by not only the different design, but also the Maybach lettering towards the upper portion of that front grille definitely looks good. In addition to that, you have the Mercedes crest that rests on top of the hood with vertical chrome accent just behind that, a little bit different there as well. Touching on the paint a little bit because this is pretty stinking cold. There's actually 15 monotone colors to choose from with 10 two-tone options. We actually do have one of those two-tone options. I don't know if you guys can tell exactly on video here, but essentially we have the obsidian black and rubellite red metallic combination. So it's one of the 10 different two-tone color options that is available from the Maybach here. Full LED headlights, of course, meaning both low beam and high beam as expected. They come with the automatic feature as well as automatic high beams as well. LED daytime running lights, and that's all pretty standard at this point, but definitely very nice looking front end. Then making your way to the side of this one, you actually have an additional seven inches added to the wheelbase compared to the regular S-Class. And this is mostly due because of the added back seat room, which you guys know we will get to in a little bit. Really, the interior is the best part. But anyways, taking a look at the wheel configuration, 20-inch forged monoblock design wheels is what we currently have here today. But I will have you know, there is an optional wheel design that's gonna be the 21-inch design that is available that replicates the design of the champagne flutes found in the back seat. But I am a fan of the forged monoblock design that we happen to have here today. I will say that it looks very, very good, but much more chrome accent it can be found on the side as well, including that B pillar, chrome window surrounds, also towards the side skirts and on the door handles as well. And by the way, speaking of the door handles, they actually slide in and out of the door, which is pretty cool. So I liked that. And on the C pillar towards the back there, that Maybach crest, that you guys can clearly see. It actually illuminates at night as you approach the car and unlock it. So I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to show you that to you guys right now because it's bright and sunny here in Hagerstown, Maryland, but that is a pretty cool feature as well. But then make your way to the back. Again, plenty of chrome accenting you can find. LED taillights do come stand just below it all. Dual exhaust outlets with chrome tips. So since we're here, we might as well. You guys know what we have to do next. As always, here is that exhaust clip. So now that we are around back of the Mercedes Maybach, when it comes to opening that rear trunk, of course, as expected, it is the power trunk 
Once opened up, cargo capacity comes in at 12.9 cubic feet. In addition to that, you will find LED cargo lighting back there. There is a 12 volt power outlet as well. If you lift up underneath of that cargo floor, you're actually going to find some in-floor storage which quite honestly is unheard of for sedans. You find that in SUVs quite a bit, but you never see that in sedans. So that is pretty cool to see as well. And there's actually a grocery bag hook that folds down if you were to need it in that cargo area as well. So definitely a good bit going on back there. And you will see in the middle of that cargo area, there's a little bit of space taken up and that is because of the fridge in the back seat. Let's go ahead and make our way to the back seats now. Rear leg room is going to come in at an even 44 inches. So for reference, I mean, even six feet tall, this is how much space I had back there, but it actually gets better because you have an option. You have a button on the side door, only on the passenger side, but I'll have you know, if you press that button, the front seats actually fold forward, the headrests fold forward as well to give you additional legroom. And then that rear passenger seat actually folds back, giving you a more relaxed position. And then there is a leg rest that extends. And then in addition to that, a foot rest that folds down off of the front bottom portion of the front seats. So the rear passengers are definitely going to be comfortable. And when you add to that massaging, rear seats in addition to that heated and ventilated seats as well of course but massaging rear seats you never see that and typically you don't even see ventilated rear seats so that's pretty impressive as well and of course as expected you have your throw pillows that come standard back there also pillows on the headrest as well and for a little bit more added comfort not only the door armrest but the center armrest as well is also heated so in a cold day here in Hagerstown, Maryland, you can actually have heated armrests on both sides in addition to your heated seat as well. That is pretty impressive. But then if that rear passenger were to look to that center armrest, they're actually going to find a second command center for MBUX. And that's gonna be that pop-up tablet that comes out of the center armrest that can control essentially everything in the car. Everything from the climate control to the radio, you can set the navigation, you can set your destination that you want your driver to take you to from that second command center in the back seats. You can also control the ambient lighting, control the rear window sunshades and side window sunshades. And my favorite part, you can make the Burmester sound system, the speakers, do a little twirl as well, which I thought was pretty stinking cool. But anyways, touching then on that sound system, it is a Burmester 30 speaker sound system with 1750 watts, two large subs in the trunk, which essentially you feel when you really get the music going in the back seats, you can feel it through the seat. So it's an extra layer of massaging seats. I'll put it that way. And continuing with that Burmester sound system, there's actually a very large speaker found on the ceiling of those back seats as well. So again, 30 speakers, I guess it's expected when you have that many speakers. So having said that, what do you guys say? Let's go ahead and turn on the radio and let's test out the sound system that we have in our 2021 Mercedes Maybach S580. That was pretty darn good. Needless to say, there's a speaker on the ceiling of this thing. The base, let me tell you guys about the base. The base comes through the rear seats, like I was saying. So there's a subwoofer behind this seat. There's a subwoofer behind this seat. So you do have the massaging seats, but if you didn't want to put them on, the base is enough. The sound system is insane. The number of speakers and the quality of the speakers in this thing, not to mention the tourney speaker, it's just ridiculous. It's ridiculous. And this particular Mercedes Maybach S580 also comes with the Executive Rear Seat Package Plus, which goes for $6,000. And that gives you a four seat cabin configuration as opposed to the five seat, of course. Folding tablets for the rear seats, and that's within the center armrest actually in the back there. They fold out so that if you were working on your laptop, perhaps you have the ability to set your laptop there. Or maybe if you wanna have your lunch or dinner back there as well, you have a little tray that folds out for you and then conveniently folds back into that center armrest in the back. So I thought that was pretty cool as well. Not to mention the heated and cooled rear cup holders. So if you have a hot drink, you're covered. If you have a cold drink, you're covered as well. And you do have champagne flutes. So when you wanna take out your wine bottle from the mini fridge, and yes, there is a mini fridge in the back seat. That is very nice as well, of course. You do then have the champagne flutes that very conveniently lock in place so they don't slide around in those back seats. Because I believe many people would think if there's champagne flutes, they're going to slide around, but they actually lock into place so that they don't, which is pretty convenient. And of course you have the ambient 
ambient lighting placement and it is very vibrant ambient lighting. I'm sure this thing would look absolutely amazing from the inside at night. And again, all those colors can be adjusted through that second command center via the tablet in the back seat. And as expected, the front seats are equally impressive. I'm not gonna go over them because essentially you got everything in the back that you got in the front more or less. And there is a power tilt and telescoping steering wheel. It is wrapped in Nappa leather and it is heated as well. You do have a very nice design on the dash. The ambient lighting continues on. So pretty much everything in the back is available in the front as well. So very nice configuration up front. Hey, it's super. That is about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen there if you wanted to see what's coming next on the channel before it actually gets to YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews. That is what we do here on this channel after all. I do appreciate you guys watching more than you know, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Stay gold.